I'm Sue McGonigal. Um, we live here in Manatee County, Bradenton, and we support the local 4-H and Future Farmer of America chapters throughout the Manatee County schools, both the middle schools and the high schools. So uh, we started out with a frame of an old tree house my husband had built for the kids. And the housing situation kind of got away from us a little bit in that we framed out the landing of a set of stairs to get up to the tree house and were able to house two bunnies in there quite easily once we decided to get more than two bunnies and they would breed like rabbits, as rabbits do. The ants were, again, looking for feed sources and were hitting my newborn baby bunnies as fast as they were being born in unprotected environments there. Not to mention they were crawling the entire treehouse facility or our bunny pen, if you will, knowing that there was food sources there between the urine, the food, the uh, bunny poop, all the different food sources it made available to them. So kind of all of a sudden, I knew we had an ant problem all along, had for years, but it suddenly became critical with them literally crawling into the nest boxes and attacking helpless newborn bunnies. Or again, if they didn't even have a nest box, <clears throat> they were crawling all over my life baby bunnies instantly into their poor little ears, their eyes in between their toes. One, I managed to knock a lot of ants off of, and I, he made it another eight hours or so, but he was literally just eaten alive. He was beyond hope. I mean, that broke my heart. I had tears running down my cheeks when I buried him. So I had just gone to um, the local Ace Hardware store and asked them, you know, what do I do with an out-of-control ant problem? They're probably thinking I'm just another homeowner that's asking the same question. They had no idea of the magnitude, but in the uh, literature, from the KM bait dispenser there was to call Ken, phone number and email address. So I literally just sat down and emailed to Ken and said, help, I've got baby piggies that were born over the weekend. We actually had only one live baby pig. I had two stillborns, so that broke my heart. But when I found them, it could, they couldn't have been 30 minutes old, covered, covered absolutely covered with ants. I couldn't even see if they were alive, dead, if they had a color to them. I had to literally hose them off, hoping the water would revive them, but all it did was wash the ants off to the degree I could determine that they were dead. But the ants were just a moving wall on the piggies, even the live one. I had to save him. He's doing fine these days. But the very weekend the piggies were born and I lost the other litter of the baby bunnies there is when Ken called me that Monday morning. He was out that day and from there we've been putting out the dispensers and all trying to get this thing under control here. We have seen some remarkable progress. I mean as Ken's been showing me with the dispensers there, he's showing me the trails, the super highways. The other thing that appealed to me when I um, heard about the KM products at the Ace Hardware was that it's completely environment friendly and I like the style of the dispensers because we have everything from the butterflies on down to we have five cats ourselves. Our neighbor has a couple of cats. We've got dogs. We have dogs that come and visit when they get away from their neighbors. Um, you know, I don't mind the armadillos or an occasional possum or raccoon coming on the property. We haven't had much problem with that, but I'd hate to be the one to be poisoning these things. We can't use rat poison because of the dogs. I mean, dogs will eat anything, heaven knows. And just wanted to find a environmentally friendly way to deal with this individual insect without harming the rest of our environment. To us that was real important. My name is Ken Kupfer. Uh, I'm with KM Ant Pro LLC and we're a 10 year old company now. Uh, most of our systems that we use for biorational insect control, we've worked with the universities. A lot of our work has been sponsored by the EPA and USDA and, and we've had some very excellent effective results taking the insecticides out of the loop and getting good biological control so that we get food without the residuals in them. The Argentine ant is considered to, uh, to be the number one invasive ant in the world but not only that but even on six continents you can take ants from one continent to another. They're, they're actually part of one giant superorganism. We've been able to defend this one quite well, but we get a constant stream of ants. They can be coming at 
from as far as 400 feet away easily. We had them doing that in the research studies with the University of California in, in citrus and other crops. But basically they're lining up to get food and fill up and go back to feed the queens in the colony. We'll take this top off. It's, I, we're going to disturb them, but basically they're feeding at the dispensers. And they're pretty well, they're not as quick or fast as they were, so I think they've, they've got a lot of problems. Well, each dispenser charge will kill 15 million Argentine ants, but that's irrelevant because it really comes down to the ants feeding the queens. You take the queens out, the party's over. Without the queens, there's no reproduction. And their main focus is to take care of the queens and the brood. So. They're racing against the clock to try to get our rabbit tree rebuilt this time properly, but also get the ant problem under control. We've got a huge super nest, we believe, in the uh, pine tree that we're sitting under. <laughs> and um, we see signs of improvement, but there's a bunch of them out there. There are just too many to be, even be able to uh, quantify. But we're seeing trails becoming sluggish. We're seeing trails stopping and drying up, stopping altogether. Um, we're re-diverting our attention and our energies into ways to combat the ants. And um, we're just, we're, Ken's confident we're going to get this under control and uh, I'm with him 100%, I believe it too.